This is the screencast tutorial for the M&M Spreadsheet Activity Part 1. This activity, just so you know, has three parts to it. So this is just the tutorial for Part 1. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the instructions that you see here, all the steps, and I'll be going back and forth between these steps and then the tab that has the actual spreadsheet on it. So we're looking at Step 1 here. It says, whoops, undo that. It says create a spreadsheet in your Google Drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new tab and you're going to go to your Google Drive. And you're going to go over to the left here where it says create. Yours might say new, but either, one, either way this is where you want to click. You're going to select create and then you're going to select spreadsheet. And the first thing you always want to do when you open up a new document or spreadsheet or form or wherever it may be in your Google Drive is you always want to title it, which is step two on the instructions. So to do that, hopefully you remember how to do this from the Google Docs assignment, but you just click here where it says Untitled Spreadsheet. And let's title this M and M Spreadsheet Activity. Go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that it has been renamed for you up in the upper left hand corner. So we just did steps one and two. Now we are on step three where it says make your columns wider and your rows taller. If you go back to your spreadsheet, the columns are the ones that go up and down. So like this is column A, this is column B, column C, so on and so forth. And your rows are the ones that go um, they run left to right, so this would be row 1, row 2, row 3, and you get the idea. So in order to make these individual blocks, I'm sorry, are called cells. So we want to kind of format our cells. I always, as they are right now, I always think they're too small to put any text or anything in, so I always like to make mine bigger. It just makes it more easy to read. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select the entire document. The way that you do that is you come over here to the left hand corner. It's this empty box that's kind of above the number one and to the left of the letter A. You want to click that. When you click that you can see that the entire spreadsheet is now selected. It'll have this like pale blue or grayish type color come over the document. That means that the entire document is now selected and so any changes that you make will take effect on the entire document. So we want to make our columns a little longer. So we're going to go up here with our cursor and see how when I came right between the A and B the cursor became kind of like double arrows. That means that you, you are now able to click and drag to make these wider. So I'm going to go ahead and click now. I'm going to drag to make those a little wider. And it is this, notice that that your document is still all selected. You're going to do the same exact thing with your rows. So if you want to go over here, you can do it in between any number. I just usually go between one and two. Again, you can move them as soon as your cursor becomes those arrows pointing in either direction. So I'm going to go ahead and make these a little taller. Now you can see that once I click out, if I, once I click on any other part of the spreadsheet, I'm instantly taken out of that select all mode. Um, so now you can see that the blue kind of color that, that was on the whole document is gone. All right, so that was step three. Now we're on step four. It says merge columns A and B in row one and then type M&M activity in the merge columns and center the title. Go ahead back to your spreadsheet. So basically it wants us to merge this cell, which the this cell is cell A1, and it wants us to merge B1. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into A1 and I'm just going to click in the middle of the cell and I'm holding down the mouse and I'm just going to drag. And you can see that again the blue shows what I have selected and also the blue line outlines the area that I have selected. To merge cells, you're going to go over here and if you hover over the icon it says merge cells. You can click that drop down arrow and you can select how you want to merge them. I just want those two merged horizontally. So I'm just going to select merge horizontally. And you can see once you click outside of those cells, 
you can see that A and B have now become one cell. Now, within that cell, this is kind of going to be like the title of this section of the spreadsheet. And I said I wanted it titled M and M Activity. Now, as soon as you click out of that, you'll see that by, de by default, the text will drop down to the lower left-hand corner of that cell. Well, I like for my titles to kind of stand out. So I can, um, you can choose anything you want. I can change the font. So Georgia, I can change the size of the font. Let's go up to 14. I can make it bold, italics. I can change the color. So let's say I want it red. But what I wanted you to do is I wanted you to center it. So if you look here, this is called aligning it. You have options. You can align it to the left, you can align it in the center, or you can align it to the right. I like my titles to be centered, so I'm going to select center. This is horizontal alignment, so that's left and right. You can also vertically align it. That means up and down. So you could take the text to the top, you could take it to the center of the cell, or you could leave it at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and center align it there as well. The other thing you can do within your cells is you can change the color. So if you see the paint bucket here, hover over it, it says fill color. You can fill that cell, let's say I'm going to go with yellow. Ugh, that looks too much like mustard and ketchup, so I'm going to change that back to let's say this blue. Okay, remember, anything, any changes in the format you want, you just have to make sure that the cell is highlighted. This is still highlighted. It's got this blue line around it. So any changes I make are going to take pay place on this cell here. All right. Step five. I'm going to go ahead and do both of these together. It says step five and six. It says in cell 2A, type color. In cell 2B, type total. So here's cell 2A, or A2 actually. You're going to click there and you're going to type color. And then in B2, you're going to type total. Now again, you can highlight both of these together and make any changes that you want. I'm not going to make a whole bunch of changes just because I don't have a bunch of time. But let's say you want to do that. Kind of want them centered. OK, so now we have our color and our total. Now we're going to go in and we're going to list the colors of your M&Ms in the color column. So, if I can remember the colors, I believe there's a red, blue, green, yellow, um, what else do we have, orange. Okay, I'm going to stop there just for time's sake, but make sure you list all of your colors here. And then next to that, in the total section, you're going to look at your data and you're going to fill in the totals. I'm just going to make mine up. Let's say we had 10 reds, 13 blues four greens, eight yellows, and how about 15 oranges. So we just completed, I believe, step eight. And now we're on step nine. We're going to use the functions drop-down menu to add up the total number of M&Ms. I do not want you to add these up in your head. This is the total M&Ms here. I don't want you to add them up in your head. I want you to learn how to use the functions um, tool. So, and again, if you guys want to change, you know, the colors of these cells and, and the text and all that, that's totally up to you. I just don't have time to do that right now, so I'm going to move ahead. So, in order to add up um, your data, you're going to click it on your first piece of data, only on the number itself. Do not click on any of the words, because the program cannot add up words. It can only add up numbers. So, I'm going to click on 10, because that's my top number. I'm going to click and drag holding down my mouse, dragging, 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 you see what I have highlighted. It's in outlined in blue, and it also has a blue kind of color to it. So I'm going to tell the program, these are the numbers that I want you to add up. So I'm going to go over here to the right-hand corner. Again, if you hover over it, it says Functions. You're going to click the arrow. You can do several different things. You can find the sum, the average, the count, the max, the min, and you can even do more functions. But for today, we're just going to stick with finding the sum. Once you click sum, you can see here, this is basically saying you're going to find the sum of cell B3 through B7. And that's right, because if you look here where the 10 is, that's cell B3, and it goes through B7. Once you
once you do that, you're going to hit enter. So there are a total of 50 M&Ms in your data. And then you're going to go want, want to go ahead here and write, I don't know, grand total. And then I think I asked, let's see, so we did that, and then I said highlight your total. So you go on back, just click and drag, and then you should just pick the paint bucket and pick any color you want to highlight your total. Now we're on number 11. It says add borders around your data from the borders icon. Select all borders. Okay, so we're going to add borders around all of our information so far. Borders just kind of make it stand out, so I like to use those a lot. So if you go up here next to the paint bucket, you hover over it, it says borders. You're going to click the drop down arrow, and we want all borders. There's several different types of borders you can choose from, but we want all, so we're going to select that. And we can also change, if we want, the color of the border. So I could make it purple. You can also change the style to a solid line, to a dotted line, to an even smaller dotted line. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay. And then our last step is to turn our data into a pie chart. So I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. Now be careful because, again, there's only a certain pieces you can highlight or select. We're going to select this time the color with the total. Do not select the title or the titles of the columns. Okay, so you start with red, drag over, and then down. Another thing you don't want to grab is the grand total. You only want to grab the colors and their totals. If you grab the, the grand total and include that into your table, your table is going to be not right. So you can see where the blue is. This is all that I've gathered. To insert a table, you're going to go up here. Hover over the table icon, it says insert chart. So you're going to go ahead and click that. And here you get to pick which chart you want. We're going to pick a pie chart. Once we've picked our pie chart, we're going to go over to customize. Here you can change different things on the title. You can change the color of the title. You can change the font, bold and italics. You definitely want to make sure that you title your chart. Let's go ahead and just title it M and M um, pie chart. You can title it whatever you want, but please make sure that your title is capitalized. Remember, I am a language arts teacher, and I will take points off. You can change your legend here from the right to the left. You guys can mess around that if you want. Again, you can change the color. You can change the. Um, I actually like it on the left. You can change bold italics and size, the font, the background color. You can mess with all this stuff on your own because I'm about running out of time here on my screencast. Um, but you can change, you know, just kind of mess around here and see all the different options you can use in your pie chart. But one thing that's very important, along with um, capitalizing your title, is scrolling all the way down here. Now, if you notice, as it is right now, the colors of the pie chart don't match the color they represent. So for red, we have a blue piece of the pie. For blue, we have a red piece of the pie. You need to fix that. The colors need to represent, um, the colors of the, of the slices need to represent the color that they actually are. So here where it says series, it says red. So we're going to change the color to red. Then we're going to switch it. Now for blue, we're going to change the color to blue. And, and then you guys can go ahead. I'm not going to do them all again just because for lack of time. Once you've made all of the changes you want to make to your pie chart and you think you're ready to go, you're going to go ahead and hit insert. Now the, the pie chart might lay on your data. If you want to move that, you simply go to the top and when your cursor becomes a hand, you can click and drag and move that off of your data. If at any point you want to make changes, Go up here to this arrow, click down. You can go back into the advanced edit mode, or you can delete your chart totally. All right, at this point, you're done. You do not need to turn this in. Um, you won't turn it in until after point part two. Thank you.